You think you know what a tree is like or looks like, but you don't really know it, at least for me, until you actually see and put, somehow put away your own um, think you know what everything is supposed to be like. Um, and that was open a door, a new door, to start to look at the tree, see how the branches grow. That is really beautiful. Like tree branches, they look like it's all random. Helter skelter, it grows like this and that. But it isn't. The branches are aware of the other branches and they grow in a closeness but they don't grow into each other, other than if it's some sort of a force or action that makes them do that. So, little by little, it became better and better, as you say, and uh, um, you see the result here now from, you know, the, some of the better trees that I worked with. To me, and to a lot of people, I think artists that I have worked with, really what an artist is always trying to capture is light and color. That's it. Light and color. And through that, the essence, the energy, and the soul of the thing itself. And of course, there's a direct line between an artist and this other woo realm that I love so much, and which is why these things often move us in a way that is unexplainable because we don't have the words. We may not even know what it is that we're feeling, but we sense it. Music brings us to tears, poetry, words, film. All kinds of expressions can bring us to that sublime state. And so every step of the way, whether it's your tree paintings, your luminous paintings, and ultimately the monochrome paintings is the ultimate abstraction of form to arrive, those who are yogis here, as samadhi is the true state of being, of pure color and light and energy. Art is a powerful vehicle 
for personal transformation. And so it is just an extraordinary blessing that I get to work with some of the world's most legendary artists. I bow to Anders Knudsen. So the painting has no center. It has no particular attention. Every single piece and part and every brushstroke is equal. If you take out one brushstroke, there will be a spot and your eyes will come to that and so on. So my effort is to make a surface that is uh, made America stand out as a land of opportunity, of the new frontier, of the liberator, and um, of course, democracy. But democracy as we lived on became something different from what it was then. It has now evolved to something that is questioned, it is challenged, and it has been somehow transformed into a participatory um, thing by professionals, a professional elite. So my monochrome paintings, what are they really about? And my first word, uh, without thinking, was they're really about democracy in the basic truth sense. And it's about equality.